It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Eagles and the Bills. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. This is the NFL on EA Sports as we join you from the so-called Space City, Houston, Texas. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is a It's going to be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Eagles of Houston. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. from Houston. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Here we see the Bills' offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last one. He I threw mean, over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Now he's got to figure out how to do the exact same thing, yet turn it into a win. Allen going to go to the air right away. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. Look at the big fella go. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who is the... Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. The numbers for him from a week ago 19 carries. 56 yards. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments to how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. They go play action with Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. And trying to find Jamison Williams, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. 
You look at this Buffalo defense. This crew against the pass, it's been a real struggle. Second from the bottom in the NFL, number 31. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll or a chip away at their timing. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they... the first. <laughs> Throwing his hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free. Had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. It's complete to Brown, right side. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eye watch. Dropped at the one. Give him 32 on the play. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run for it here with McAllister. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll try again. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. A great effort there with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one. Extra point. 